G'day everybody, Ken Ring of www.predictweather.com and I thought I'd tell you a bit today about clouds. Basically there's two main types of clouds. You know, if you're in a plane at Boeing and you're flying along at 8 miles up, 35,000 feet or so, and you look up out the window and you'll see these streaky, wispy clouds up above you. They kind of look like candy floss. Uh, they're actually called mare's tails and they're sort of wispy and thin like that and um, you know I'm using cotton wool here uh, of course you know you can't do that to them but uh, they are actually ice they're called cirrus and uh, some people do call them mare's tails uh, but uh, they're these thin wispy spread out things they're actually ice at 50,000 feet and they're, be they're the beginnings of rain systems uh, when if you were to fly along continuously in the sky and uh, you'd see them bunch up together and get a bit lower and descend as clouds eventually. Uh, when you're on the ground looking up at them, what you do is you, you look up and then you look up again in about an hour's time and then in a couple of hours time and you see if these things way up high are developing uh, whether they're spreading more and more over more and more of the sky if they don't if they if you see them uh, one time and then you look again and they're kind of gone or a little bit here and there uh, that could be a sign of actually more settled weather but you're looking for what's developing always when you're looking at the clouds you're looking at it's not enough just to take one snapshot with your eyes you've got to look again in an hour's time look again in another hour so that's what these things are give it about a one and a half to two days uh, before rain actually arrives so that when you see them up there that's about the time uh, time scale of predicting it so that's one type of cloud and that's the cirrus or the um, uh, hair like uh, it's, it's cirrus is latin for hair uh, let's go to the Latin to um, to investigate what they mean when they're talking about clouds because there's the cirrus, then there's the cumulus and cumulus just means piles of and cumulus clouds, well they're the fluffy clouds that you see you know, sort of a bit one here and another one here further along and they're generally fairly flat and a lot of the time they've got flat bottoms and these things generally sort of drift along at about 2,000 feet because that's the level at which the sun's heat gets the water from the ground and lifts it up and uh, the heat from the ground keeps these clouds buoyant but the clouds have, uh, have got some weight in them so they kind of sit at the, at the level at which uh, they can't come any further because the heat from the ground is holding them up but they, they won't go any uh, higher because they themselves are actually a little bit heavy with water vapour. So generally that's the 2,000 feet level and that's why you see them going along in a line. Uh, but that's a settled sign, cumulus, piles of what they look like to be water vapour, uh, which is what they are. Uh, but they're not actually just where the water vapour is. There's water vapour everywhere all over the sky. Uh, all you're seeing when you're seeing the cumulus is you're seeing where the cold parts in the air are because the colder parts will condense the water vapour in that particular area and make the cloud appear. Sometimes you'll see a cloud coming along and it'll just disappear in this part of the sky and then you'll watch another cloud coming along and it will disappear here too. Well it's not actually disappearing all that's happening is that right at that spot in the sky there's a warm part and so the water vapour goes back to being invisible again. So the, the cloud and the clouds actually aren't moving that much. They're actually disintegrating and they're forming again a little bit further along uh, because where there's another cold bit. So that's the way the clouds actually uh, appear to be moving. It's a bit of an illusion. They are moving a little bit but not as much as what they appear to be because they're not actually blowing along at all. They're actually reforming all the time. So getting back to our story of uh, what they do, cumulus is settled. Now the other um, 
Latin words are all to do with cumulus. So you get alto cumulus. Alto means height, and that means you know high up ones. You can get strato cumulus, and that means they're in straight lines, strato. Or you can get nimbo cumulus, and that means they've got rain in them, the nimbo part. You can get alto nimbo cumulus. You can get strato nimbo cumulus. You can get all these variations, and really it's just piles of cloud with rain in them, piles of them in straight lines, piles of them high up. That's all it means. So, you know, don't be too uh, threatened by the Latin words. There's a variation that you sometimes get in the cumulus, and that's they get a bit higher like that. You see them on the horizon, and these are called tower clouds. And what happens with these is they get so full of rain uh, that uh, they become downpour situations. So if you see these tower clouds around, you'll know that it's not like steady rain over the course of the day, but there's sudden downpours, and then and there'll be fine weather in between. And if you're standing underneath one of these cumulus looking up, uh, sorry, these tower clouds, it'll just appear to be a grey sky above you with some, you know, really threatening looking um, rain bits in it, really dark. Uh, that's what it looks like from underneath. From a distance, it just looks like that. Once again, it just means downpours. If you see clouds going in different levels, uh, going past each other, that's a bad sign. That's a sign of um, impending bad weather because it means there's all sorts of turbulence going on at different levels. The winds blow the rain in, and uh, the winds also blow the the, uh, the rain away again. So uh, it just means you know changeable weather. Um, and when you see that. So in, in short, in summary, if you see cumulus here and there, it's settled. If you see anything that looks like a pattern, any straight lines, rows of things, unusual looking shapes, um, uh, but are fairly regular, then that's a sign of bad weather, unsettled weather. Uh, really, it comes down to two types all the time. So um, uh, oh, one other thing, if you see them coming up from the south, the clouds, uh, well, that's pretty well a sign that there's not going to be as much rain in it as if you see clouds coming from the north. Because here in the southern hemisphere, uh, when you see clouds coming from the south, uh, it's coming from a cooler region where not that much evaporation will have occurred. But when they're coming from the north, it's much warmer up there, more evaporation, more rain that has got to fall down again. And, um, and so clouds from the north will be a wetter sign than clouds from the south, which will probably be more driven by wind. So just a couple of points to think about when you next look up at the sky. I hope it's been of some help to, to you. And uh, please archive this, share it with your friends. <laughs> That'll do me a favour as well. KenRingPredictWeather.com. Thanks for watching.